Well, hello Popledge YouTubers. Would you, Adam and Eve, spring has finally come to the UK and England. I can't believe it. I've just made a complete mess behind me trying to find out where my sandals are, where my sunglasses are, where my vest tops are, so that I can make a rapid adjustment into this sunshine and make the most of it, because we don't really get a lot of it in the UK, especially at this time of year. Okay, but on to another empties video. Um, I haven't filmed one for a while um, and the sun's just put me in a good mood so I thought why not do one now. Uh, my first empty is a Burt's Bees empty. Um, I got this for Christmas and I'd say it lasted me two and a half months using it once a day in the shower as a facial cleanser. Um, this is from the Orange Essence range. I found it very nice to use but a few little flaws. I like the fact it had the orange oil in it, I felt like that kept my skin quite hydrated and my skin is quite sensitive and I felt like this product didn't um, irritate it in any way or anything like that. The only downside of it that I found was that because it's quite a natural product there's nothing in it um, that acts like a detergent I guess, you know like when you get the foam from shower gel and things like that and I guess we're used to having something that foams up. Well this didn't multiply at all like if you put a blob of it in your hand and you sort of you know mixed it it wouldn't get any larger if you see what I mean so I found that you needed quite a big like portion of the product to kind of wash your face and your neck and you know chest area with so that would be my only downside of it is that I got through it pretty quickly I'd say but in terms of the actual product I really like it but Again, I would probably only keep it on my Christmas list because I think it's quite expensive for, for what it is, but, you know, price points are up to you. Um, when I finished that one, I actually went to see Dermal, Dermalogica. Dermalogica? Um, I went to the Milton Keynes branch. They've got, um, like, a stand there if you live around Milton Keynes at all. And um, I spoke to the lady there for probably about 15 minutes about my skin and um, they did all the tests that they do and everything like that. And she just confirmed basically what I thought that my skin was, was really sensitive because I mean even if I um, like go swimming or something, you know, just going in the water will make my face go quite red. And <laughs> she said that I had very reactive capillaries. I was like, oh, thanks. So that like, even say if I tap my skin, you know the the capillaries will react and the blood will come to the surface which and the veins which is what makes your skin red so she prescribed me this um, cleanser as um, a twice daily cleanser so morning and night time it's the ultra calming cleanser um, it even removes waterproof makeup you can use it on your eyes and everything like that but it's really it's really soft it doesn't feel chemically at all there's no it doesn't strip the skin it doesn't, um, well it doesn't cause breakouts for me, it doesn't irritate any of um, like sensitive areas. What I'm trying to say is it's, so far I've found it really good and easy to use. Um, you don't even have to use water with it, which if you've got really, really sensitive skin is brilliant. You just literally squeeze a bit of product out onto your hands and it's kind of like a creamy consistency. And you only need a tiny bit and it spreads out quite evenly and quite well. So you just use that and then you can just use a cotton pad just to literally wipe it off or you can use, you know, splash your face with water if you're in the shower or whatever, whatever. But it doesn't strip your skin off. I find it really, really good. You know, combine it with a good exfoliator once or, or twice a week and it's really helped my skin, I think, sort of stay fresh but not, not break out as much. So thumbs up to this, although it was £26 for... 24 oh no 250 sorry millilitres which is 8.4 fluid ounces so it's not loads and it's expensive per per serving not that you're going to eat it but it does it has lasted me a long time I think I've had this about two months now I still say I've got you know sort of like that much left so hopefully it'll last a bit longer than say like the birds bees did so yeah I'm happy with it anyway um, exfoliator sample that I've used this month, one from Origins called Modern Friction, 
Um, again, because I've got quite sensitive skin, and I would say to anyone, actually, don't. <laughs> Exfoliators are great, but you're not aiming to kind of rip or tear the skin in any way. And some exfoliators, especially ones with like almond shells, things like, like that. Um, Scent Ives have got one that's, that's absolutely terrible, I think. You want to be careful that it's kind of, it's strong enough to, you know, remove the dead skin cells and give your skin a fresher appearance. But you don't want it so strong that it's literally, you know, t making small tears into your skin and things like this. Like that, rather. Um, this I found really good. You can't use it near your eyes or anything, but why would you want to exfoliate your eyes? And um, its tagline is Nature's Gentle Dermabrasion. Um, and again, I didn't have any problems with this for sensitive skin. Um, I tend to only exfoliate once a week. I think twice a week is too much for my skin. Um, but yeah, very pleased with that one. Although I probably wouldn't buy a whole bottle. I'd rather Dermatologica, these people, do a much better one in my opinion that's made of like rice granules and when I've got a bit more money out or for my birthday I'm going to ask for that to go with this. Um, next I've got a couple of simple things. I really like simple good price point like £3 each. You know not really really cheap but not really really expensive. Um, this is Kind to Eyes eye makeup remover. Does a great job. You know you only need one cotton pad for both eyes, it takes it off quickly and it doesn't um, irritate your eyes and it contains lots of B vitamins and things like that so I'm going to give that a big thumbs up. Um, this is also a repeat purchase so I like this one. Um, on offer th for £3 again in Superdrug this week. Um, I like their replenishing rich moisturiser because I get kind of like dry spots on my um, forehead, my skin goes slightly flaky so I find this great because it works for 12 hours and again has lots of vitamins in it and doesn't irritate or make my skin go red again so thumbs up to simple very good brand and, and very good idea i think we were all kind of looking for something a bit more you know gentle for our skins and everything like that and the old empty bottle was just in there into the last three now i'm trying to go quickly because some of you say i waffle and i know i do um this is a charcoal mask um i imported this from Japan, it's by a Japanese brand called Daiso, Daiso Japan, produced for Daiso Japan. Um, there was a scam of this product going around on the internet where they were, they'd set up a website around it, even though they weren't the manufacturers of the product, and they were selling it um, for £30 for this little tube, and they were producing videos of um, showing people putting it on, and they were like tearing it off and literally all these white heads were, and black heads were coming out with it and everything and, and they were selling it as kind of like a miracle product. Um, it isn't a miracle product, you can get similar stuff to this in Lush if you like using charcoal based um, deep cleansing masks. Um, I'm a fan of anything charcoal based, I do think it, it draws out everything because it's obviously um, like a drying ingredient so things are kind of sucked into it like the moisture and anything is sucked into it. Because of that you want to use a moisturiser afterwards but um, I got this via eBay and you really don't want to spend more than £5 total on it and that includes importing it from Hong Kong, Japan, wherever it comes from. Because this in Japan actually is a really low cost product and it sells for 99p in their kind of health and beauty stores out there. So please if you see it for anything more than a fiver just don't do it. Um, when I bought it, it had a sticker on it as well, so you might want to look out for that. It's like a, a kind of a girl with like um, a black mask on her face. But in terms of actually being a deep pore cleanser and a cheap one at that, I think I'll probably actually rebuy this because I did enjoy using it and it lasted, uh, I mean it probably lasted more than a year, I probably should have thrown it away, but hey, it lasts me a long time because I, I won't use it more than say once every one to two months because it's quite sort of drying and does pull everything out of your skin. Um, next, a little one that came in um, a Christmas present again I think. Sanctuary, great general sort of body scrub. I think I've said in another one of my videos I'm not a massive fan of the kind of original orange packaging smell. I prefer, I think there's like a purple one, I can't remember what it is, but I think I prefer that. But if you're looking for sort of a unisex um, 
shower gel or body scrub to have in the shower then this is great and it's obviously you know quite a high-end product and all the little granules in there I do think work especially like knees elbows things like that it's it's great for kind of drier areas um, last and probably least this again is from another gift set that I got at Christmas um, it's the Marks and Spencer's Royal Jelly gift set and this is the face wash with added moisturizers um, I didn't really want to comment too much on this specific product um, but I just wanted to say how much I'd enjoyed the smell, the royal jelly smell. It's royal jelly and pulse honey and I've still got like the body lotion and there's like a hand cream and everything and just the smell of it I want to say thumbs up Master Spencer's because it just smells so... it's not... it smells female <laughs> but it's not like um, you know like lollipops and rainbows, it's not really sickly like smell, it's just a really natural kind of nice like if you get into bed with it on your skin it's just it's so nice like you just want to kind of you know take it in sort of thing <laughs> that sounds really weird but um yeah that was what I wanted to say about this I did ask for it originally raw jelly because I like it I asked for it in hair products but um they kind of misconstrued it and got me like a a lotion set and everything and I must say raw jelly though brilliant brilliant for hair and skin apparently so yeah so that's my empties for the last probably eight weeks um my pick of the bunch i'd have to go for the derma logica uh, cleanser i've found it really good doesn't strip my skin yes it's expensive but you kind of get what you pay for and hopefully it will last me i'm hoping five months so hopefully i'll only need two or two and a bit a year which would end up at 52 pounds so it's a lot but I guess for a year I'm trying to justify it to myself now then it's okay but this would definitely be my pick of the bunch um hope you've learnt a little bit and then um, I'll see you soon I hope this was quicker as well quicker pace okay see you later bye 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 bye